When you come to Lourdes, it's the diocese in miniature. Here we have 1,200 people or so, the bishops, priests, uh, people, all united together in, in faith. But here we're together for the week, which is a wonderful thing. It's the key thing about Lourdes in many ways, that the sick and those who are disabled in many ways, here they are the center of attention. Uh, as if we're saying to the world, God is on their side. God loves them, they are very special. Unlike in England where sometimes sick people are left out of things, it's seen as a nuisance. Here, they're always thought of first. It's just a wonderful picture of Catholicism in action for me. You know, all the love that's shared uh, between people sick or well. It was at Lourdes that in 1858, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared 18 times to a young woman. Bernadette Subiru. Since then, this small town in the south of France has become a centre of hope, worship and miracles, visited by up to six million pilgrims a year. Uh, my favourite place in Lourdes is definitely the Grotto. It's so relaxing and it's such a place to go and just unload everything that, all the stresses and the worries and the strains that you have in your life. It's such a nice place to just go and sit there and almost have a little conversation in your head with Our Lady or with God or whatever is worrying you and the problems you have. I always go to, the, to the, uh, the, the tent where the Blessed Sacrament is exposed, where one can be quiet and pray, and I, I love that place. In fact, if you follow the rhythm of what happens in Lourdes, you find that the whole of Catholic or Christian spirituality is there. In Lourdes you see the church as it's meant to be, very much the church at prayer, led by our cardinal, by the bishops, by the clergy. But also you see every person really here finding a role for themselves, a voice for themselves. There's something about Lourdes, it's a place of great openness. You just feel that um, the usual divisions and barriers which perhaps you feel back home, are uh, broken down. People come here very tense, with a lot of personal worries, and you see that just disappearing, being, being healed as the week goes on. Coming to Lourdes is bound to change you. I don't think anybody could come here and say that they haven't changed, that hasn't touched some part of them and changed something in their lives. I think the main thing that it does is make you appreciate everything you have. You, just, you come here and you, every little worry that you have, you know, it fails into insignificance when you see the problems that some people have to deal with. The river here, I feel, and the water in Lourdes plays such an important role. Um, it has this great cleansing, purifying quality, presence about it. This is the, the water that Our Lady said to Bernadette to go and go and wash in, and Bernadette couldn't see any water but she stepped forward in faith and scratched at the ground and this amazing stream of clear water came out and of course people have been washing and bathing in it ever since. At least once in your life you should come to Lourdes. There's a different landscape here where uh, you live the life of faith with perfect ease and I'm hoping that the people who come here and especially the young people when they go back will remember this landscape in the landscape of our secular England uh, and therefore be able to <laughs> as it were, swim against the stream and practice their faith with a greater understanding and generosity. So red caps to the left first, then the sombre. And Now we're, we're gathered here at the front of the Rosary Basilica for our pilgrimage photograph. It's a photograph that everyone can take home with them, fantastic sort of memento of uh, a really momentous week as well. And it just takes a while to get everyone together. We've got people here from the hospital, the hotels, our children, our young helpers, our doctors, our nurses. We're all here together, just waiting for the Cardinal to come out and then we'll be ready, ready to go. Everybody looks at me and say cheese! 
For further information, please contact the Pilgrimage Director on 020-7798-9083 or visit www.rcdow.org.uk forward slash Lourdes. from the youngest to the oldest, um, and the sick as well. I mean, I think everyone would say that about Lourdes. 